You're back. Oh, yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out, too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. I'm getting lost in all this shit. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Yes, Chloe Price was here. There's Chloe's cash stash. Sorry, Principal Wells. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? I still feel sketchy about giving Chloe the gun back. That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. That's my Chloe. I feel like we're missing a major clue. Keep digging, Chloe. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind... Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. 
I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. It's amazing how innocent our drawings were, compared to what we're doing now. Oh no, that poor little bird has been trapped in here. Last time I wanted to splash some water on my face. My whole life changed. Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. This might be the last poster advertising Arcadia Bay after tomorrow night. It's such a warm, beautiful day. How could a killer storm just pop up tomorrow? Fly, be free. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change.
You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just... better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Looks like David already booked a room. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Ouch. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now Max Caulfield exists in two, or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? I wonder if Chloe would hate me for keeping her alive. But I couldn't do it. Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. My butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Max the Time Bandit strikes again. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. William never finished painting that wall. <laughs> 